In this video, I want to show you how to derive the Fourier sine series and the Fourier cosine series, starting from the general Fourier series for a function which is periodic with period 2L. So the Fourier uh, sine series comes from uh, assuming that f of x is odd. So to derive the Fourier sine series, we assume that f of x is an odd function. So we assume that f of minus x equals uh, minus f of x. Um, if that's the case, then uh, these coefficients uh, simplify. Um, the integral of uh, over a symmetric interval of an odd function is uh, zero. The integral over a symmetric interval of an even function is twice the integral from zero to L. So what happens if F is odd? Well, F is odd, cosine is even, so an odd function times an even function is odd. So if F is odd, then this integral will be of an odd function, which is zero. So in that case, a n equals zero. Uh, b n will be an odd func integral of an odd function times an odd function, which is an even function. So this will be an integral of an even function. So b n will be twice the previous integral, if we integrate now from zero to l, so of f of x sine n pi x over l dx. Okay, so a's are zeros, b's are, um, are are given by this integrating from zero to l of this integrand, and then we get the Fourier sine series. So the a's are zero, so we end up with the sum from n equals one to infinity of b sub n sine n pi x over l. So if f of x is an odd function, then um, it can be expressed simply in terms of uh, sines, right? So for an even function, it's a similar story. So this is the Fourier cosine series. So we assume here f is an even function. So f of minus x equals f of x, right? That's a definition of an even function. So remember this is odd and this is even. Okay, then for an even function, a then is an integral of an even function times an even function, which is even. So we get a sub n is a 1 over L. The integral of an even function, sorry, so this can become a 2 over L. And then we can integrate from a 0 to L of f of x cosine n pi x over L dx. And then b is an integral of an even function times an odd function, which is an odd function, and the integral over a symmetric interval of an odd function is zero. So b sub n equals zero. So for the Fourier cosine series, we only have cosines. So then our Fourier cosine series becomes our one-half a zero plus the sum from n equals one to infinity a sub n cosine n pi x over l. Okay, so if f of x is an odd function, we can express it as a um, as a Fourier sine series. If f of x is an even function, we can express it as a Fourier cosine series. And we need to know the value of f only in the interval from zero to l in order to do these integrals.